For more on the topic, Rowie sat down with Juana Willemson from the World Health Organization. She focuses on childhood obesity and encourages physical activity for children. She began by explaining why the WHO thought it necessary to release these guidelines. Previously, the WHO have not had recommendations for physical activity or sedentary behavior for this age group. We have recommendations for older children and adults in terms of physical activity for health. But now that the evidence is available for a younger age group, and following on from the recommendations of the Commission on Ending Childhood Obesity, that WHO should provide parents and caregivers with recommendations about how much time young children should spend both in active play, but also avoiding too much sedentary time, um, WHO decided to review all the evidence available and develop the recommendations that we've recently launched. How do you define screen time per se? The research that we looked at had asked parents um, about how children spend sedentary time, so time when they're not being physically active. And this was often reported as TV viewing or the use of computer games or video games and also increasingly the use of smartphones and tablets. But it's important to recognize that the, the screen time that we were particularly concerned about is sedentary passive screen time. So this is time that children are not moving, but they're also not interacting with a caregiver. So if it happens to be the use of a book that is viewed on a screen, where a caregiver is interacting with a young child and talking about the book or talking about a program that they might be viewing, this we would consider interactive time, which is so important for children's early development. Likewise, if it's talking with family members or grandparents, for example, who are a long way away and the, it happens to be through a screen-based platform, that is also interactive time. So the recommendations are very specific about avoiding sedentary, passive screen time in which children don't interact with anybody else and they also don't have opportunities to move. Do you think there's a role for digital content in early childhood education during these formative years? I think the digital content that um, involves interaction, uh, whether it's with a caregiver or between a, a, a TV program, for example, and a child. I'm thinking of examples of um, educational programs that encourage children to copy movements, uh, to, to balance on one leg, to hop or to dance. And those are all interactive and actually encourage a child not only to move, but to develop some of their motor skills. Or um, digital content where parents and caregivers will listen to a story or watch a program and have an opportunity to discuss certain aspects of that with a child provide really important learning opportunities. So I think the, there is still a really important role for that interaction, whether it was, is with a person or whether it's an opportunity for a child to copy a movement, for example. For the parents who are keeping their eye on the clock, saying, for example, my child can only have 30 minutes a day of screen time, it doesn't have to be so rigid, according to what you're saying, if those minutes are spent interacting with the screen? So the recommendation is that children under the age of two do not have any sedentary screen time during the day, and from two to five years, not more than an hour per day. And again, that's sedentary, passive, pacifier screen time, where children are not interacting, they're not moving, they're not having opportunities to discuss the content that they're viewing with somebody else in order for that to be a real learning opportunity. What are your recommendations for parents who, for whatever reason, may struggle with these criteria? You know, parenting is a tough job, and I think we all need to take our hats off to parents. And maybe as a community as a whole, we need to support parents more, provide them with alternatives and opportunities um, so that their children can be entertained, can be kept active, while parents need to do other things. As part of our work to support the implementation of these recommendations, we're developing some standards for early childhood education and care settings, for example, where they can incorporate the recommendations on physical activity and avoiding sedentary screen time 
into a childcare setting, a creche, a kindergarten, um, an early care opportunity where they will be able to support families, provide families with um, suggestions and alternatives for keeping children occupied or entertained even in the evenings, but also ensure that children have sufficient opportunity during the day to expend some of that energy and to learn about the world about them and develop their motor skills.